John Larroquette is a familiar face to fans of sitcoms and legal dramas, and a well-known voice to horror heads. He's been plenty busy since Night Court first ended in 1992, but if you missed his many turns, here's a rundown. More than 30 years after its final episode aired, Night Court is back. The reaction has been mixed, but some critics, like William Hughes at the AV Club, insist that once the reboot hits its stride, it's a worthwhile watch. Hughes rhetorically asks why a Night Court reboot needs to exist, and provides a twofold answer. First, it provides a new sitcom home for the Big Bang Theory star Melissa Rauch. For the second, Hughes writes, To put it bluntly, John LaRiquette said yes. The original Night Court imprint is all over the new series. Roush's judge, Abby Stone, is the daughter of Judge Harry Stone, who was played by the late Harry Anderson. I moved here for a job. I am the new Night Court judge. <laughs> Yet Lara Kett is the only original cast member to return as a regular in the new series as prosecutor Dan Fielding. So what led him back to Judge Stone's courtroom? Night Court was by no means the actor's first go-around in sitcoms. His very first TV appearance was in an episode of Sanford and Son. He also appeared in other classic sitcoms of the era, including Three's Company and Mork and Mindy. After he broke out with Night Court, it's not all that surprising that Larroquette jumped right into starring in his own sitcom, The John Larroquette Show. Premiering on NBC in the fall of 1993, the show revolved around Larroquette's John Hemingway, the manager of a bus depot in St. Louis. Themes usually involved recovering alcoholic Hemingway's sobriety and membership in Alcoholics Anonymous, topics with which Larroquette was familiar. The series struggled to attract viewers. Though its premise underwent some retooling after the end of its first season in an attempt to lighten its atmosphere, it was abruptly cancelled only one month into its fourth season in 1996. The following year, Larroquette made his first appearance as Joey Herrick on the ABC legal drama The Practice. First appearing as one of attorney Bobby Donald's clients in season two, Joey's revealed to be narcissistic and conniving, willing to manipulate the legal system to his own ends and literally get away with murder not just once, but twice. When he returns in season six, he passes the bar and becomes an attorney himself. Can anybody say, hey, good to see ya? Larroquette's sinister Herrick ended up appearing in six episodes of the David E. Kelly drama. The practice ended in 2004 and spun off into a new series later that year, Boston Legal. Larroquette joined the cast of that series in 2007, but not as Herrick, as a totally new character. He played Carl Sack, senior partner at the firm Crane, Poole & Schmidt. In season four, Sack transfers from New York to the Boston office. He's initially put off by the Bostonian's more carefree attitude, but eventually finds his home among them. Larroquette remained a regular on the series for its last two seasons. Larroquette has made a habit out of playing lawyers, so it's fitting he portrayed mystery-solving former LAPD officer turned attorney Mike McBride in all ten entries in the McBride TV movie series, which aired on the Hallmark Channel between 2005 and 2008. Larroquette himself directed four of the ten movies in which McBride investigated the murders of a therapist, a radio host, a Hollywood madam, and many others. All had punchy titles like McBride, Murder Past Midnight, or McBride, Tune In For Murder. There was even an entry that focused on a murder at a dog show called McBride Dog. Larroquette's son Jonathan provided music for some of the movies. A non-lawyer thread that has run throughout Larroquette's career is one you may not know about, since his face is never shown in any of the movies. He's narrated numerous entries in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, starting with the very first film in 1974. That movie was his very first acting job. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. Larroquette told Parade Magazine that he had known director Toby Hooper at least five years before the movie was made. Hooper called in a favor from his friend and was so strapped for cash that he paid him with a bag of cannabis. Other films for which Larroquette has provided narration include the 2003 Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, its 2006 prequel, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning, and 2022's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Despite his crucial contribution to the series, the actor insists that horror really isn't his genre. He has never watched any of the films. 